Now you know what we're up to, it's time to prep our old machine ready for replacement. So this particular step in the upgrading of my computer, I can't stress enough how vital it is. And this is prepping our old machine because we want to be able to still use the old machine while we're installing the new one and backing up our data. And that is the part that I want to stress, backing up your data, because we are going to be ripping out one of the hard drives from this PC and putting it into the new one. And anything could happen. I mean, heck, you could even drop the hard drive while you're transferring it. So you want to make sure that your data is protected. And the hard drives that I'm currently using to back up my data are the Seagate Backup Plus Hub. This one is a six terabyte. I have a four terabyte already plugged in. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a new backup onto the four terabyte hard drive. We're going to take that out and keep that off site. And it's kept off site just in case the house burns down. Or if someone breaks in here and pinches everything, they're also going to pinch your backup hard drive. So we keep the backups off site. And then we're going to plug this bad boy in and do a fresh backup ready for when we strip down the machine. So let's get over here now and let's sort out this old machine. So before I do the backup, I need to save a couple of presets for Premiere first. Now, when it comes to Lightroom, the catalog is already stored on my work drive. So I don't need to do anything when it comes to that. Same with most of my footages, most of my presets, they're all on a work hard drive that's separate to Windows, so we don't have to touch it. However, because we've had a, a new studio built, I have a couple of presets on my uh, Premiere that I would like to save and put to the work drive. So let's go into our last project, which is how I fix the studio uh, audio. So we're gonna go into this project now, which is the last video you saw, which is how I fixed the audio in the studio. And what we wanna to come to is effects, presets, and there's two here that I'm currently using. So I want to select both of those and I want to export those presets and in here I'm going to put a new folder my presets and inside there we're just going to do Premiere okay and then inside there I'm going to go my preset save that. So my software of choice is called Free File Sync. I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. So let's take a look now. So you can get Free File Sync from freefilesync.org. It's a free program to download, but you can donate if you like it. And I would suggest you donate to them to help them keep it going. So let's go in. We have a, a Free File Sync and a Real Time Sync. Now I don't use the Real Time Sync. I prefer to choose when to do my backups. So we're going to come into Free File Sync now. And it's a very, very easy piece of software to use. First of all, we're going to choose where we want to copy from. So in this case, it's my work hard drive. So I'm just going to set this up again. So we come to the hard drive, the folder that I want to use, and then save. So it's going to look at D, the art of Stuart Wood, which is going to get renamed to Stuart Wood on the new computer. And we're going to go over to our backup drive and work and the art of Stuart Wood. So once we've done that, we're going to click on compare. So what this is going to do is going to scan the hard drive, the work hard drive. It's also going to scan the backup drive and have a look at what's different between the two drives. Okay, so it's finished scanning. So let's take a look what it's found. So first of all, before we go into the files, I want you to look at this arrow just here. And this is your synchronized setting. And there's four different settings you can do. You can do two way, so it, uh, it'll copy everything from each drive. You've got a mirror, so it'll copy everything from the work folder to the backup drive. We've got an update. I can explain that in a minute, and a custom. I'm currently using update. So what happens here is it scans your work drive and then scans your backup drive. And anything that has been changed, updated, or added on the work drive, it will add over to the backup drive. But the important thing is anything that I've deleted off the work drive, it won't remove from the backup drive. And that's what I like. So I have a uh, backup every six months or so of this drive. 
but it keeps my main drive nice and clean and tidy. Now once it's done that, you can see here that it's got um, all the files that are on the hard drive. You can see here it has do nothing. So it's sitting there and it's like, well, we're not going to do anything with those files. So as I come down here, you can see here we have new files, this is the Lightroom catalog, that are not on the back of drive, so therefore it's going to copy that over. And altogether, we are going to be copying over 179 gigabytes of data. So we're going to click synchronize and it will start the copying process over. So now anything that has changed on my work drive since I last did an update is now going to back up onto that hard drive. So we're looking at about 34 minutes for that. But we have another very, very important thing to do. We need to create a Windows 10 installation USB. So to do this, we're going to grab ourselves a USB stick. We're going to plop it into the back of the PC. Once we've done that, we're going to head over to Microsoft. Look at the prices of this. So we're going to be looking at having Windows 10 Pro. It's £220. I'm going to only pay £10 to £20 for this. So stick around to the installation part of the video when I'm going to be showing you how to get a decent Windows 10 key for next to nothing. Right, so we're going to go here. So we type in Windows 10 install USB. I'm going to create an installation USB stick. So we want Windows 10. Okay, we're on a download tool now. Okay, we're going to put that to the desktop. Okay, we're going to click on that. And you're perfectly fine doing this while you're doing the backup because the external backup drive is very slow. So you're not going to bottleneck your system or anything with this, okay? Okay, once we get to this screen, we need to create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or, or other. Anyway, we're going to be creating a USB. Okay, select language, use the recommended settings for this PC. No. On English United Kingdom, thank you very much. Edition, Windows 10. And we want 64 bit. Okay, next. USB flash drive. Yeah, we have that in there. And we're going to be using the stick. Next. That's now going to download Windows 10 onto that USB stick. And it will instruct you when you can unplug it and use it. So we're going to unplug it, store it away, ready for when we need it. So what I'm going to do now is once the backup has finished, that four terabyte drive is going to be stored off site. I store it off site in case there's a house fire or a robbery, because let's face it, if someone breaks into your house, they're going to pinch everything, including your backups. If there's a fire, everything burns, including your backups. So I always store a backup off site. Once we've done that, we're going to crack open this new six terabyte backup drive from Seagate. I'm going to back up my projects folder that's currently on the scratch drive because it's a raided scratch drive. So when we move those over to the new machine, we are going to lose that data. So I'm going to pack those up onto this drive and then we will be ready to build the new system. While it's doing that, I'm going to show you why I need to upgrade and why I'm not going to do these uh, benchmark tests, you know, this versus that, this versus Apple. I'm not doing any of that stuff because of what I'm currently using. So I'm going to come to system. Okay. So I'm currently using an Intel Core i7-4770 CPU. That's eight years old. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing 4K video for YouTube on an eight year old machine. Now bear in mind, I am running an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super Graphics Card, which does that, that does take a lot of the load off of my system, but that only comes into effect when I'm doing certain effects or rendering. When we're actually scrubbing through the timeline, I'm playing back the timeline, it's using this CPU and it is very, very old. So that is why I'm upgrading to the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. So we should be able to get all of our work done very nice and quick without having to keep pausing to render out previews on the new system. So that is why I am upgrading. So now that has all been done, let's get on and let's start building the new PC. Let's get over here now and let's have a play with backing up this machine. We're not playing. So while it's doing that, I'm going to be taking the manuals out of all of the new hardware and familiarize with that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be able to uh, push the new system to an absolute beast of a limit. Nope. 